So York Mix is in the Chapel Fields area of York. This is PCSO Danny Stannard, who had the idea to have this public meeting, this drop-in today. And um, Danny, first of all, what are the problems that you're experiencing in this part of York? Well, the main problem is we've got in here is that um, what well, we feel there's a, there's a problem with underreporting. So basically, we're not the police, but in particular, not getting the reports from the public. That there's a problem with antisocial behaviour and low-level crime. So, um, so we, we've, uh, we are getting information from partners like schools and other agencies that suggest that there is a problem here. So tonight is really all about us all coming together, um, encouraging members of the public to come out and speak to us and to get, uh, so we can get a really good feel for whether there's actually a problem here or not. So why is there this under-reporting then? Is this traceable back to the problems with 101? Potentially, I think there's a couple of issues there. There's, yeah, I, I'm not going to... Uh, move away from the 101 problem. We do know there's a problem with 101. However, it is being looked into. Um, there is other ways of reporting uh, you know, information to us, and that's, uh, we've got a system called Single Online Home, which is an online reporting system, and um, that's a very good way of reporting to us when you've got something in, re in retrospect. So you've basically seen a crime, and you want to report it to us um, and let us know about it. Uh, at least then we are aware that, th that there's been a problem in that area. Um, because what's happening at the moment is we are not being told about potential crime and therefore we're not, able, we're not able to respond to it. So I'm with digital PCSO Chris Simpson now. Uh, what does the digital bit mean then? It's, um, it's similar to the traditional PCSO role, which is all about community engagement. But what we do is we do it all online, through, through Facebook, Twitter, social media, uh, messaging, community forums, things like that. Right, and you've also been going into schools as well. What have you been trying to achieve there? Yeah, well, last year I uh, wrote a pilot for an idea for Cox V Kids um, to use online gaming as a way to engage with like, potentially vulnerable young children. Um, so I've been going into York High this past few months um, to engage, set up these two gaming computers and uh, for like um, the whole day. So we'll, Start at half nine till three. It lowers the barriers um, because obviously with the police talking to them, um, it'd be quite defensive to start with. But once we sit down and start gaming within a few minutes, laughing and joking with us, um, it's really really good. Local councillor Andrew Waller, Lib Dem for the area. Um, Andrew, this isn't a bad place, is it really? No, the vast majority of people really enjoy living in in Chapelfields, and I think it's a uh, being ruined by a small number, a minority, uh, and I think people want to uh, rally together and, and challenge this uh, challenging behaviour and say it's, it's not happening on our patch, thank you. Whose major problem is it, the police or parents? I think that um, there's, there's a lot um, of partners involved in raising um, children, so, uh, therefore I think it's, a, it's about um, all uh, organisations and parents working together um, to ensure that uh, the um, boundaries are, are, are set so that uh, people understand uh, what's not acceptable to happen in the street. What about more boots on the street? Have you done anything about that? You know it's the, the age-old thing, you'll hear it later on probably. Not enough police officers yeah. around. Are there changes happening on that? Yeah, week? so what we're trying to do is we're trying to, and I'm, you know, we've done it in a number of other places, we're using a problem-solving model, uh, which um, use a lot, we work on our analysis, so we look at a problem and try and then um, find out where the locations are in the city where the main problems are, what times that these problems are occurring, and then uh, we will put boots down on the ground, like you say, at those key times. Um, so, and that's one of the reasons why we need information passing to us, so that we can then actually put um, officers in the areas where reports, where we're receiving the reports. Right, I think that's covered it all, hasn't it, yeah. really? Yeah, is there anything else you want to 